Hi, this is Roxanne, retired teacher again, here to share a story with you. Hopefully the dogs will start stop barking. Um, this story, I think you'll enjoy, it's short, uh, but I really, really like this story and uh, my students thoroughly enjoyed it. Here we go. It's entitled, Wolf's Coming, and it's by Joe Kaluka, and it's a scholastic book. Wolf's Coming. Wolf's Coming. A distant howl rides the breeze, echoing through all the trees. Hurry, hurry, don't be slow. Follow me, come on, let's go. A shadowy figure climbs the hill, getting close and closer still. Faster, faster, take my hand, run back home like we planned. Wolf's coming. Shadows lengthen, it's getting late. The wolf is now outside the gate. Quickly, quickly, get inside. Shut the door, better hide. The moonlight shines on his fangs. His belly growls with hunger pangs. He does look hungry. Closer, closer next to me. Pull the shade so he can't see. Wolf's coming. Glowing ember eyes appear, pointed ears strain to hear. Hush now, hush now, not a peep. You must be still, like you're asleep. Wolf's here. Front door opens with a creak. The big wolf leans in for a peek. Tightly, tightly shut your eyes with all your might. Yell, surprise! Laughing, laughing, so much fun. Cake and pizza for everyone. And I love this story. Happy birthday, Wolf. One of the things that uh, teachers uh, teach in the reading uh, content is foreshadowing. Foreshadowing is when you uh, get an inkling to something's going to happen in the story based on either some uh, words, text, or sometimes pictures. Pictures can uh, kind of give you an insight as to what might happen uh, next. Uh, and it can just give you a feeling, maybe a feeling of fear. Uh, but I, when I would teach foreshadowing, I would like to read this story. And uh, definitely uh, I would have the kids tell me, you know, was there anything in the story that uh, maybe uh, gave you an idea that we were gonna have a different kind of twist at the end? And if you look at the very first page, you can see 
uh, that the rabbit has balloons. And usually when we see balloons, we think of um, a party. So if you're paying close attention to the pictures that may have kind of given you an idea. Also on this page, there, there are more balloons. Again, a foreshadowing of a party happening. And the first time I read this story, I did I was worried for all those little creatures that were gonna get eaten up by the big bad wolf. Uh, but, uh, but I was very pleased when I found out that uh, they were hiding definitely from the wolf, but it was because they were going to throw him a surprise party. This story is also good when you're working on uh, teaching kids about rhyming. And uh, if you've taught them about, about rhyming, they might be able to figure out, uh, you know, the words that rhyme, breeze and trees and, and uh, the others, as well as it can also help them figure out the ending word. Uh, because if I go back here, it says, uh, see where that was him on the wrong page tightly tightly shut your eyes with all your might yell and what word rhymes with eyes would be surprise so another really adorable story to share with your kids I hope uh, I hope you enjoyed it I did definitely and again I look forward to next time I still have uh, several books in my book case uh, that I would like to share with you. Have a great day. Keep safe. And uh, till next time. Bye.